Hello and welcome to today's Wisdom Wednesday. I actually am going to do things a little bit different today. I received these books from Daily Grace Company and they have a whole line of different resources, Bible studies, um, just books for inspiration. So this one I probably won't go over today, but it's called It Is Well, Walking Away from Anxiety and Into God's Word. So I'm thinking um, I'm going to change it up and do studies out of these books maybe every other week or every third week. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll let you know for sure the schedule of these books. So this one I think I'm going to be reading from Meditations for the Heart, Heart Questions for All of Life. And then this one's called New Every Morning, Meditations on His Daily Grace. So let's get started. Hi, so I'm going to be reading from this book, Meditations for the Heart. Because of Jesus Christ, Christians have an eternal hope. We have hope because this world is not forever. Sin will one day be abolished and tears will be wiped away by our Heavenly Father. Our hope doesn't reside in anything this world offers us. Our hope resides in Christ. We know that this world and all that is within it will one day pass away and we will be ushered into a new heaven and a new earth where we will live with God and be his people. This eternal focus shifts the way that we behave here on earth. Our minds ought to be set on things above. We are called to dwell on God and things that are aligned with him. Because of our hope in eternity, we are compelled in our sanctification, gospel stewardship, and an even growing affection for God. Love that. So I'll put the um, the online store that I got these books from in the description box below so that you can reference them. So scripture to meditate on is Psalm 39 verse 4 and 5, Romans 12 verse 1, Ephesians 2 verse 10, Philippians 4 verse 8, and Hebrews 6 verse 10. Our hope resides in Christ is the title. So they do give you some questions like in the 100 Days of Believing Bigger book, there's usually just one, one or two questions. But it looks like we have a full page here, so let me go over those. Who can I encourage today? And I wrote, I can encourage family members today, sending them positive quotes and affirmations to uplift their day. <clears throat> and then the second question, how can I share the gospel today? And I wrote, by doing my YouTube segments, I hope to reach others and share the gospel uplifting others to do that as well. Question three, how am I feeding my own soul with eternal things today? And I wrote with my vlogs, I am definitely feeding my own soul. This has just been amazing for me personally to grow in my own life. So I hope it enriches your life as well to, you know, just want to reach out to God and, you know, study some verses or whatever it may be, you know, just want to sit down and have that time with God. So I would say the vlogs, Bible and studying Bible verses has enriched my life. So, you know, I was saved in the church when I was maybe seven. And then of course I recommitted my life to the Lord. Um, I think around my junior year of high school. So um, I've always been, you know, active in 
you know, church and that kind of thing, um, kind of here and there. And it's really hard these days to get distracted and, you know, pulled away from all that. And my goal is to get back to that. So, but God is my, my life. He is my number one and my relationship with him, um, is is good at the moment i'm just yeah i'm wanting to get back to just um more of an intense relationship with him so let me know in the comments um what you're struggling with and i will just definitely pray for you and um you know we're all here for each other and this time um lately it's been stressful for a lot of people so I just want to be able to reach out and say, you're not alone, but reach to God, reach up. So as far as my quotes and affirmations, um, let me know also in the comments if you like those. I usually try to find poems, affirmations, um, uplifting um, sayings, Bible verses, those kinds of things, just to you know, uplift your day or give you a little bit of peace if you're struggling on a particular day and you just need some, some peace. So, um, yeah, let me know what you prefer me to do on these. So I didn't know if I wanted to change it up completely on, um, these books. Cause if you've been watching the wisdom Wednesday, you know, I have a set way of doing things when it comes to the 100 Days of Believing Bigger book, so, which I love. I'm excited to get back to that too. So just let me know what you prefer. So we've got this too, Prayers for Your Day. Um, you know, since that was so short, let me go over this one too. Cause this looks like a good one. This is from new every morning. In day one, the word of God, we have access to the very words of God because the Bible is so common. It is like the air we breathe, a privilege that we can easily take for granted. We demonstrate our gratitude to God for his word by letting it dwell in us richly. This word richly is also used in Titus, 3 verse 5 and 6. God tells us that he poured out the Holy Spirit on us richly. And in 2 Peter 1 verse 11, he says that he has richly provided an entrance into heaven for us. Wow, that gave me goosebumps. Perhaps two of the greatest benefits of salvation outside of Jesus Christ are the Holy Spirit and the promise of heaven. These gifts are so valuable that a price cannot be put on them. In the same manner, let us fill our lives with the richness of scripture, allowing it to penetrate every area of our lives. When scripture is abundant in our lives, we will then be able to use it wisely to encourage and benefit follow, fellow believers. Have a heart filled with praise and live a life that exudes gratitude. These are so good. I really recommend this book too. So then it gives us another verse for reference. Colossians 3 verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell richly among you in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another through psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs singing to God with gratitude in our hearts. Okay, I really like that verse. Verses to reference. Okay, I mentioned those and I will link those below and they will be visible in the throughout the video if you want to pause and get those verse um those verses for reference. Um yeah, I really highly recommend that. So anyways, yeah, I think I will go through these kind of sporadically and 
throw them in with the 100 Days of Believing Bigger book. And that's a Bible journal that um, we've been going through. That one also is very good. And I got that one at dayspring.com. Um, but this particular company, um, Daily Grace Company, I believe it's called, .com. And yeah, they have tons of things. So, in fact, let me th show you my Bible basket that I made. My daughter gave me this idea. And, um, yeah, see, it's just a little basket. And it has Bible, a Bible. Here's my 100 Days of Be Believing Bigger book. And then I keep it all together. And these are actually what I got from Daily Grace, my highlighters, which you can, you know, highlight in your Bible or your um, little booklets here. And, um, yeah, so then I keep these in here as well. My books fit right in here nicely, like so. The bigger one goes in the back. And I have room to add, so I'm going to get some more of those. But, yeah, check it out. Very cool. Thanks, daughter, for your suggestion. I love it. Alrighty, so let's end today's vlog with a prayer. Heavenly Father, help me to surrender every minute of this day to you. Remind me that this day is yours. Help me to lay aside the weight of yesterday and to receive this day with eager expectation. As the alarm sounds, may I think first of you. May it serve as a blaring reminder that you have given me another day. May I delight in your new morning mercies. Grant me the wisdom and energy not to waste a single moment. This day is yours. In Jesus' name, amen. So thanks so much for joining me. This was really awesome today. I kind of like changing it up just a little bit. So, um, you know, we can kind of keep things interesting and, and exciting. So... Thanks again so much, and I hope today's lesson um, was encouraging for you. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love that. We post a lot of different types of videos, but I do the Wisdom Wednesday, of course, once a week. And you can usually get it in early on Wednesday mornings. So I'm going to be pre-filming quite a bit, so I'll have more of those available for you. So stay tuned and see you next week. All right, have a good day.